Hello everyone and welcome back to the fourth part tutorial of the bathroom modeling tutorial. So this time what we're gonna do we're gonna create a tap. Now this tap I want to be I want it to be also as part of our uh, bath. So um, we will well I chose to do it here though yeah 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 I'm, I'm gonna do this here at this side. So First of all, we are encounter the same problem. Uh, we will need to. Uh, my mouse is just, I don't know, something just messed up with it. Um, we will uh, need to uh, delete few edges and then add them back as we uh, continue with this. So I'm gonna press one, zoom in here to this area. Okay, I really have problems with my mouse. I don't know, something probably about the battery. I don't know, really don't know. Um, all right, so here, well, I didn't add any. You know what, I removed that edge early, uh, earlier and I didn't bring it back because as it seems, the handle looks better that way. So. I assume that we don't really need to do anything, just extrude this. I'm going to extrude this, okay? We already have the secondary here, so that's great. Um, I'm going to extrude that and pull this out that way. And I'm going to squeeze this to about that. Now, with that done, I'm going to grab these faces here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And I'm gonna extrude them upwards as like they were beveled out a little bit, like so, okay? And you can pull them a little bit more. You can even click on this cube here, grab the middle one and do something such as this, which is nice, but I don't know, it's just messing around with my other vertices and edges here, so I will need to modify them manually. Bring them over here, and then maybe bring the entire three, sorry. In, mm, the entire three goes backwards, so. Okay, and maybe these I can work them out some way. Let's see, maybe I'll pull them that way a little bit. And this one as well. Okay, press F8, bring it back to object mode. I'm gonna add, uh, well, I'm not really interested on in showing how this will, uh, you know, spill water into the bath. So at first I'm gonna simply add some more edge loops here. I'm gonna maintain this area sharp and this area sharp and add one more edge here to maintain this sharp. Okay, and one more here. And I'm gonna press three and have a look at this to see what's what came up with that. That looks pretty nice. I'm gonna Add one more edge loop, shift right click, insert edge loop over here. I want to maintain this area sharp as well. And eventually, um, maybe I would want to, at least, I don't know if there will be some animation purpose for that model in your case. Um, you want to extrude this two faces here, make something such as this, extrude once more and add this a little bit that way and then extrude once more bring it just a little bit up inside extrude it once more and then just push this a little bit above inside so there will be a feeling that something is going on there inside I'm gonna add two, one more edge loop here to maintain this area so now that I'm pressing 3 we will have some kind of a uh, you know water source into this bath. Now, the one problem that we do have in this case, um, well, I have this line here, which I'm not sure that I will be able in one, you know, 
with one well with one shot to fix this though it's got related to the fact that I didn't had edge loops here but now if I, I will add two more edge loops here then I will have probably a new problem so I'm gonna try this I'm gonna add one edge loop here I'm gonna add one more edge loop here and before I'm going to unselect this I just want to make sure where this is going through just to make sure that at least it doesn't do anything wrong here I'm gonna press 3 press F8 nothing wrong with this area everything looks fine well not that fine you can see the curves already okay, this is the problem and you can also see the problem here but you know what that's fine that's allowed it's not very very um, major thing to you know be worried about but in any case um, what I wanted to say is that uh, because this is a one solid model right now uh, we will encounter problems whenever we're gonna want to texture this and therefore we will need to uh, in some way either choose all the faces one by one that belongs to the tap or the endo and just add a different shader to them or we will need to really UV map this entire thing or if it's even easier for you is just to grab um, the tap and extract it and make it something that is uh, not part of it and same goes through the end to the end though <coughs> so this is it for this part but we already have a nice bath here uh, the only one or two things that I'm care, care about is that whenever we will uh, place this inside the room of the bathroom so we will need to create some two uh, you know uh, handles to just you know keep the water flow or shut so this is it for this part of the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was quick and we will see you at the next part. Bye-bye.